Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Salamu alaykum. When we think about our relationship with our Father, we think about a kind man that really loves us, no matter what the circumstances is. We often want to impress our fathers and our parents to do the best we can at school, at work, to make sure that they are proud of us. The way we carry ourselves in the community and everything else really goes in, back into how our Father sees us. When we say that the Imam of our time is like a kind father to us, and that he sees our a'mal and our doings, the whole of it, and the whole week twice, and sometimes more, I hope that we put a smile to his face. Because we have a choice on what our fathers and parents see about our doings. We can be careful about that. But we cannot hide much of our a'mal from our master, Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. And he goes through this in his spiritual way twice a week. And it has been said that it really upsets him many times on what he sees in that a'mal. It's been reported that he cries tears for us. He begs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to for our forgiveness, just because he loves us so much as a kind father. When he sees our doings, he truly gets affected by them. So I hope that we can do the best we can in order to make sure that we don't hurt our dear father, our dear Imam. We don't hurt his feelings. He is so loving towards us. If it wasn't for him, if it wasn't that God put him on this earth and the love in his heart, we wouldn't get none of the blessings that we have today on the earth. It is because of His presence that all the rest, all the blessings that is bestowed upon us. This loving Father does His duties and gives us the love and the attention. But I just hope that we could be the good children for Him. Just the same way we wouldn't want to make Lady Fatima to Zahra cry. Just the same way we won't want to make the Holy Prophet cry and Imam Hussein cry or get upset. Just the same way we don't want our parents to be upset and cry. Please let's make the most of what we can, the best to our ability to make sure that we don't hurt the heart of the Imam of time. Apart from hurting his feelings, let's make sure that we are not the reason why his appearance is delayed through our actions, through our sins, through our lack of preparation and the strengthening of ourselves to be able to not do so many sins. Let's remember and realize this is not just our deeds. It's not something that's only going to affect us. There's somebody that's constantly watching out for us. He's affected. He's hurt. And he's going to see it. So let's try to do the very best we can to make sure that we don't hurt our Imam, our own Imam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.